In this tutorial, we're going to walk through how to design and customize a new Excel spreadsheet. As you can see right here, we have a small personnel database with the last name, first name, address, city, state, zip, and salary for a small company. This is a pretty boring looking spreadsheet. It's pretty much what you'd get right out of the box. If you want to be able to customize this and make it look more professional, there's a few things we can do to make that happen. One of the first things we can do is add the company logo and we'll use the insert function to make that happen. First we'll highlight all of the text and all those cells, move them down just to give us a little bit of space, and then uh, you see here in the uh, one row we will enlarge that to make room for our logo and come up to the insert ribbon, select picture, and then come down to the desktop where we saved our company logo. It's a little bit too big so we just simply grab the bar right here on the corner and shrink it down to the size that we want. Maybe a little bit more. There you go. And then we'll also put the company name right here. You can see we want it on the right hand side. Right now it's going to be going over the edge. So we'll go up to the orientation, select that we want it to align the text to the right. And also we want it to line up in the center of company, of the logo. So we're going to come up to middle align. And as you can see, it's moved to the middle of that cell. We can also change the text very easily. Come up here, select a different text change the size and now that has been changed. We also have a name for this. This is the personnel file and instead of just keeping it here on the left hand side we'll select that entire row, click merge and center, make it bold and there you go. Now we're going to highlight and select all the rows and columns in our table, move them up to the position we want it, and it's looking better but there's still quite a few different things that we can change and uh, uh, to make it just have a little bit more of a professional feel. Uh, one of the first things that we can do is on the uh, all these salary items, instead of just having the numbers there, we can change that very quickly, change the format, and we don't want to have the zeros so click the decrease decimal function here twice and that looks a little bit cleaner. One of the first things we can do is change the orientation of these items right here. We can go and create a border around those items and then from there come up to the orientation button and select that we want to do this angle counterclockwise. We can also change the background color to navy blue with white text and then center it. You can see that already is given that kind of a neat flair that uh, you don't see in a lot of Excel spreadsheets. You can also highlight all of this text, go to the borders button, give each of them a border, and you've already given this spreadsheet a completely different look and feel than at the very beginning. 